Okay, um, welcome once again to um, the next segment after the lookup functions. This is pivot table. Pivot table. Now, I love pivot table a lot, and you will find out why in a short, in a, in a bit. Now, pivot table is a very powerful tool in data analysis and is used in um, software like Microsoft Excel, what we're doing right now. Uh, to to analyze data, you know, basically, uh, it anal allows you to do the following. Number one is to summarize data. All right, uh, it quickly aggregates large data sets. Quickly, quickly aggregates. It. You know, you could actually do what you call slice and dice yeah, from here as well. You could look at the same data set from various. Uh, angles from various viewpoints that's what I mean by slice and dice so because of its ability to quickly summarize and aggregate uh, large data set you could actually look at the same data set from various perspectives and you see in the demo that I'll give you could also filter data easily 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 number three it gives you the flexibility to also be able to sort and rearrange sort and rearrange large data set change the layout by dragging dropping fields uh, in different areas number three is that you could perform calculation functions like sum like averages like counts percentages and none like that and then of course you could identify trends and patterns within the data set that, that is with regards to highlighting trends so I want to I want us to get into a sample data set that I have here okay so I have here this uh, pivot, this sales table, okay, this sales table, I have here this sales table, you have the date, you have the customer number, you have the sales type, you have the amount paid, you have the payment type. So the payment type has to do with the MasterCard, is it uh, American Express, Visa, and then you have the amount uh, paid, you have the sales type, so for... Um, uh, flight, cruise, car rental, hotel rental, rock climbing, uh, it's like um, an adventure uh, company and that is also involved in a travel agency as well. So they have all these uh, uh, packages and programs uh, together and then you have, the, you have the customer number, you have the date, okay? Very, 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 very important. Now, what I want us to do next is that let's get into the real analysis. But before we do, how many records do we have? How many records? So if I do control end, it control end, that is 2009, but actually that's 2008 records. So you could have two million records of transactions that have taken place that you want to analyze. So uh, can you imagine 2008 records you want to quickly aggregate? This, this, this control home, this amount paid, how can we quickly do that? So you need to click anywhere in this in this five column. Make sure you click anywhere, and then go to Insert tab. When get to Insert tab, Insert tab, you will see Pivot table, okay? And then you say From range. See everything has been selected already, all right? And then Location. So we want a new worksheet. That's what we want. And then we say Okay. Excellent. So if you remember. If you remember, we have, uh, we had how many? We had five columns, sheets two, we have five. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Now, what I want to do, let me reduce this. What I want to do is that I want to bring the amount paid into values, voila. So, the entire value, pay attention, the entire value is two million five hundred seventy-eight uh, and thirty-nine and thirty-eight cents. That's everything. Everything what? Everything amount paid. If you doubt me, I click this. Control Shift End. Did you see? Look at right here. <laughs> two million five hundred seventy-eight thousand and thirty-eight, and that's what you have here. So we have been able to condense it, aggregate it. Okay, now this is the cool thing about uh, uh, pivot tables. I can now say, okay, I want to see by field, by sales type and bring that to rows. Look at, breaks it down for me. 
Did you see? The number is not going to change. It's broken it down by row, by sales type. Okay, I don't want to see anything by sales type. I want to see by payment type. Exactly. And it's a drag and drop environment. Okay. What about if I want to bring the sales type to the columns? Could I actually do that? And then there you go. Or can I swap? Absolutely. Just bring one here and bring the other one up. There you go. <laughs> See, the number will never change. So what we're doing is that we are slicing and dicing. We're looking at the same data here. Look at over 2,000 records summarized here, coincisely here. All right? It's, it's, it's the power of pivot table. Okay, you can look at it in various ways, and, 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 it's, and, and, and it's cool. Now, we could also decide to filter. Okay, so if you say, all right, we want to bring payment type into filter. Okay, we could filter by payment type and say, you know what? Uh, okay, we could remove the field. So what we have here is sales type and um, payment type to columns. And then I say, okay, um, in the columns, in the columns, for us here, in the, in, in the, in the, in the columns, we want to actually... You know, let's see if we can bring this to filter, okay? And then, and then you, you can decide to to to, to begin to uh, uh, to to filter. Just a minute. So bring this in here, okay? Column labels. You have the uh, the payment type. You have the sales type here. So if I come here, see, you have the column labels here, all right? And it tells you everything that is here all right I could come here and say you know what I just want to I'm just interested in Visa MasterCard and Amex so air miles cash diners card off and I say okay exactly that's what I want but you notice the grand total has changed why we are filtered off other transactions that's why you can also restore them back okay and say clear filter from payment tab and everything is restored okay now one cool thing about this is this if i remove this uh, if i if i bring payment type into rows you see that it you have a hierarchy is created now so you are not looking by payment type then so you are not looking by by sales type then payment type i could decide to swap it and bring payment type on top so payment type first then the sales type whichever one okay very cool and neat so if i remove sales type okay and right now i could convert this if i come to table uh if i come to um by the way you immediately you we created the pivot table we had the um the pivot table analyze tab and the design group so this so we have this the pivot table analyze tab and the design group now, right from here, in the um, in the pivot table, you could actually graphically represent this in a chart, okay? And that is right. So, pivot table analyze tab, pivot chart. See that? Yeah, amazing, isn't it? And then uh, I like the uh, the three uh, D cluster column. I love it. And then you have all manner of visualizations here. You have the bar chart, you know you choose the one you like okay but i will go with the column i'll go with the 3d cluster column okay 3d cluster column and i say okay there we go and then i want to move this to its separate so i right click and then i say move chart to a new sheet i say okay there we go okay there we go now right here right now we could also decide to uh play around okay uh come here and then come to analyze tab the design tab and look at what chart styles that we have okay chart styles that we have if you don't like the color change it change the color change the color change the color okay 
If you're not, if you feel you want to change the chat type, come over here and change it to whatever chat type you prefer. Okay. Now, if I click on this, this is payment type. Okay. Everything is about. If I now select air miles, uh, diners card. Sorry, let me leave that. Let me remove cash and say okay. Find out we have uh, four left. If I go to sheet one, sorry, sheet two. You find out it's one, two, three, four. Exactly. Why? Because this chart, the data here is gotten from this. So whatever you do here affects this. Whatever you do here as well. So if I come back here and I choose cash back, it has been updated here automatically. <laughs> That's how powerful it is. That is how extremely uh, powerful this thing, uh, this thing is. Um, uh, and then you can also ch add chat elements here from axis to chat title currently, you know, grid lines and legends. Uh, very important, very important. So if I go back to uh, pivot tables here, you know, uh, uh, pivot table analyze tab, mm, uh, you could you could insert what you call a slicer. Did you see this slicer? I love slicers. Slicers are like filters. Okay, you can just drill down. So right now we could have. Uh, uh, we have sales type so let's have sales type and customer number and say okay so we have this two okay so if i want to see for example i could blank out those flights now, now for you to appreciate this then i need to also bring in sales type right under payment type so i bring sales type under payment type you see that yeah, this is when you will appreciate it. And mind you, what you're doing here is also updated here. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, what you're viewing now is just, um, is this is, is, um, is the flight car rental. Add cruise to it. Sorry. Now, if I want to add, I have to hold down the control key. So, if I click on car, flight plus car rental, hold down the control key on my keyboard, click on flight and cruise. I remove my mouse, remove my finger, then you see it has been added. Okay, if you want to narrow it down to a particular customer, say click on 300. See, so it's important for you to know how much a customer spent. This customer 300 spent um, over five thousand dollars on flight plus car rental and cruise. <laughs> All right, now if you want to add something else more so let's say hotel uh, uh what about car rental so we've already chosen that and then leave it so you have all this spent by this customer so if you click on 301 changes so some people are really spending some money here so you could actually have this disciplined way of filtering and looking doing critical analysis yeah doing a critical analysis in Microsoft Excel using pivot table. Tremendous, tremendous. And this uh, 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 um, filters and pivot table is just phenomenal. You cannot do this with ease. You cannot do the analysis you've just done on this, uh, with this data set with ease uh, without you, uh, uh, I mean, getting into tools like this. This is drilled down to the customer, to how much each customer spent all right that is significant that is mind-blowing okay so it's that pretty much detailed so you pick on the parameters you want you know uh sales type here and then uh, zoom in on the customer okay and then you are able to know how did the customer even pay by cash by by, by which of the cards whichever what the payment method okay so um, that is that about uh, pivot tables and pivot charts. Uh, hope you learned one thing, a few things. And um, yes, next in next stop will be uh, will be uh, will be charts. I want to get into charts, and I'll round off with uh, with uh, uh, with text analysis. Uh, until then, um, happy happy analysis. See you soon.